love this marsh, fragmite like low-lying stuff. This is probably the coolest place I've ever hunted. Just one of the prettiest places. That was no doubt a shooter's tag. Dude, this stuff's might, crazy. Might Look how tall this is. It was Look. not this tall last time. That right there is Fragmighty, AKA Frag if you're local. I'd say the most delicious critter this side of the Mississippi lives in that stuff right there. They are delicious. We are in Sika Deer territory. And we're about to pull up to our home for the next three or four days. Need to stretch out? <laughs> yeah. How's it going? Stiff as a board. Oh, I'm yeah. good, man. How long have you been on the road? Oh. Uh, we Twelve can, we hours. Right up in half, so it wasn't too bad. What's up? How's oh going? yeah, good. good. Man, yeah. It looks, it it looks different on. than the last time we were here. Ow, really? The, well, the, well, fra the well, frag the... is just so much higher. The the beans are still standing. Yep, and, and there's green on the trees. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when, was that January we were here last year? Was it the first week of January? Yeah. I was gonna say I was just saying it was either, you know, I thought it was just after Christmas. Yeah, for sure. So yeah. I, would you say one of the biggest differences between then and now is that like this is when the rut is like full blown, yeah, you're, it's you're, on. You're hitting into like the first week of their peak rut. Here. Really? Yeah, we yeah. Perfect they're, they're into the breeding phase of the rut right now. So they're bugling like crazy. They're bugling like crazy and they're pretty stupid. So, really? Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid that's is great. What, yeah. That's what we need. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Here's the deal, we're splitting up tonight. We spent, how many days have we spent here last year? Three and a half, I think. Yeah, I mean, we, we spent, I'm call it four days here hunting, morning and evening, every day, and. Last January. Yeah, last January. We got pretty familiar with this place, so we're kind of piggybacking of what we learned from that trip and diving right into it on this trip. Uh, these places that we're at, especially where y'all are going, is where we started hunting last mm -hmm. year. And to give you guys a little bit of a background of where we're at, it's, it's several thousand acres, it's almost 10,000 acres, and it's an old Young Life camp. Um, I was a Young Life leader, I've been a Young Life leader for like five years, and through Young Life was actually put in touch with um, the people that run this place, and so that's kind of how we got access to this place, and it's, it's a pretty amazing it's place. insane. Like it it's is crazy. a mecca for sika deer and whitetails. Yeah. Enough of that. Yeah, we need to get in the woods. I'm headed into the woods. Go yeah. kill one. If you, if you, we struggle a lot. If you got we... any questions on that camera, just give us a call. <laughs> Assuming I don't get lost. <laughs> going solo. Time. We have like maybe a half mile hike, three quarters of a mile hike back in here. What's really cool about the Sika deer is there's whitetails like all over this property. But the Sika deer, they're actually non-native. They're from Japan. And they've like carved out their own part of the habitat in this like Delmarva, Chesapeake Peninsula area. They love this m marsh, fragmite like low-lying stuff while the whitetail is gonna stay up in the, up in the uh, hardwoods. And so we're about to go walk through like what might be two feet of water for about a half mile to get to this place. I'm ready, let's get it done. wallow. It looks really active. They bugle, they mew, they wallow. They rut just like elk. This is probably the coolest place I've ever hunted. Just one of the prettiest places. And honestly, I'm just looking for a mature animal tonight. Whether it's a hunt or a stag, I'm gonna shoot the first mature animal I see. Okay. You think Lee is lost? As predicted, I'm lost. I'm uh, probably a mile and a half in here and I've never seen this dock before in my life. Uh, stuff looks very different from the last time I was here and I believe I missed my turn. So I'm having to backtrack here. So let's cut back to Thompson Drew. I'm sure they're having a 
a lot smoother of a trip than me so far. We'll pick it back up hopefully when I found where I'm supposed to be. no doubt a shooter stag and he's wallowing right there i had a, two little trees in my way otherwise i had a 35 yard chip shot on him and when he came in towards me i was having to get around the camera and he's facing to me i couldn't i couldn't draw and get on him This is a little different than what was last time. I know. <laughs> we got the crap scared out of us a couple times of some that were like 20 yards away that just screamed at us. <laughs> like really? Bar they barked at us, yeah. The one I had was a no-doubter. Yeah. I mean, I, and I didn't see him. Like, I mean, it was just, they're just so quiet. Oh, yeah, they're like I mean, he just ninjas. like, I just like turned and saw him moving out of the corner of my eye. And it was like, boom, he was there. He's on the hind and just like walled around, walled around. I also got lost. 
for quite some time. <laughs> we talked about that. <laughs> As soon as we got in the tree, we were like, what are the odds he's lost already? <laughs> uh, I got really lost. Not even, like, not even joking. I was lost, lost. Do you hear the one growl back here? Mm -hmm. I could use that. It might be the one we just saw, but he just fired off like 50 yards away. That's him. So weird. It's like a little miniature Jurassic Park. I was covered up in deer all morning. Uh, I can hear them coming. They're splashing through the water and that's helping me kind of locate these deer because when they get on dry ground, you, they're ghosts. You will not hear them. So, there's a bunch of hard ones in here. That's an Eden white oak. I think we're gonna find some trails and uh, stick some feet out, stick a camera on it and see what's, see what's cracking lacking in here. Coming to you live for a uh, entertainment break out of this hunting program to bring you guys to what this place is kind of about. But to give a little background of this place, it was this like very very wealthy dude. I don't even I don't even really know honestly what he did. Built this place for stupid amounts of money and then donated it to Young Life for Young Life to run as a camp. And I think for multiple reasons, Young Life couldn't actually open it up as a camp where they were taking in campers and whatnot because of uh, I think how swampy it is like the insects and stuff like that it just it, it wasn't conducive to doing a camp so I'm taking you inside one of the barns they had uh, buildings they had in here it was an old gymnasium again intended for young life and the amount of toys in here is insane and we're about to play with some I've got an idea Ping pong table, arcade machine, workout facility. You just giving the real estate tour? Yeah. We said we'd give a tour of this place, this so place I'm doing is it. Amazing. Oh! Tire. 
Miss. Miss. Ah! Not a miss. best he's ever served in his life. <laughs> Maybe you should be hunting. I think I should quit hunting and pick up tennis. Did we explain that it's muzzleloader season and we have to wear orange? Where'd my cat hat go? <laughs> Took him approximately seven hours <laughs> to lose your hat. <laughs> An a fluorescent orange hat. <laughs> One of my special talents is losing stuff. I'm pretty doggone good at it, too.
percent our last evening hunt we may stay for a morning hunt so this is fourth quarter hail mary time This is what these little swamp ninjas look like. We couldn't kill one, but our buddy did. Mm -hmm. 25th, At least someone yeah. in our house killed them. I mean, they're literally just a miniature elk. And that's a that's a really nice one. It's a really nice one. Well, I think that about wraps up our time here. Um, Quick recap, we came here last year, spent four or five days, just kind of learning the place. I mean, what these sika deer are freaking smart. I mean, they're little ninjas, little tiny marsh ninjas out here running around, and there's definitely a learning curve to hunting these things. I mean, would you agree to that for yeah, sure? Yeah, I mean, the big thing for me is the habitat is so different. Yeah. And, like, to have this massive fortress of frag everywhere. Yeah. And if they don't come out of that, you can't. there's nothing you can do. And the, clearly the stags don't want to come out of it. Yeah. I, I mean, I had opportunities, and honestly, like, if I wasn't self-filming, I probably would have had a shot opportunity at one of those two stags I had. Um, but, you know, that's kind of part of it. And we were not willing to shoot something that was not up to standard out here. Like, we're not, for the sake of content, we're not just going to shoot an immature animal and be disrespectful to, you know, kind of the code of ethics out here. So we want to make sure that we I probably should have killed the... I didn't want to the say The stag it. on the first day. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. <laughs> but uh, hindsight is twenty twenty. I didn't want to say it. I wasn't going to bring it up, but you brought it up. So, <laughs> um, But, yeah, I mean, we're just trying to be as respectful as we can out here. I mean, that's hunting. It's not always about the kill. We've had a really good time. We saw a lot of animals, had some really cool encounters. Um, I think my biggest takeaway is that I probably need to uh, take a hard look at taking up tennis professionally. <laughs> Maybe a little Leroy Agassi action out here. Uh, but besides that, I think we're headed back to Atlanta. I've got a deer showing up there. Uh, we've got some deer showing up in Nashville. And uh, we also have a, a Sika backstrap waiting in the freezer oh yeah, for we us. Do. We do. So we're taking that home. That'll be nice. We couldn't kill one. Someone else could. And they felt bad enough for us to give us a backstrap. It, it was one of the guys that has a neighboring farm as a call stag you wanted out. So. I think we're gonna cook that up and pack everything up and hit on the dusty trail. Hopefully come back, hopefully hopefully we've been respectful enough where we can come back uh, and get the invite for next year and give another go out here.